I'm answering a question here. Someone asked me from the car because I'm on my way and I didn't get a chance to video blog this. I'm on my way in to see my good friend Pagey, um, who uh, is a global media network and he's a great, a great situation, a great guy. And anyway, somebody asked me a question. I want to answer the question, and that is this. And if the camera moves a little bit, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm driving and hitting bumps and so on. Uh, how does God speak to you? Well, first and foremost, God always speaks to you through His Word. Now, what His Word does, according to Proverbs chapter 4, is His Word keeps our hearts in tune with Him. The Bible says in Ro Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it says... I beseech you, therefore, brethren, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The Bible also says in Proverbs 4.23, <clears throat> Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it come the issues of life. So first of all, know God's Word. Be in tune with God's Word. Have your prayer life up to snuff. Uh, Present yourself before the Lord every single day because later on in Romans 12 it says this is how you're going to know what the perfect will of God is when you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Be willing to let God speak to you. Secondly, God does speak to you, in fact, as you pray and listen to Him. When you pray and listen to God and, and pray with earnest desire, He speaks to you through impressions in your heart. He leads you to places in His words, uh, oftentimes about specific examples. So be in tune with God in your prayer life, make time for God, and desire to know His will. Thirdly, God speaks to you through circumstances. And we see this in the Bible, and there's precedence for this. Remember, Gideon laid a fleece out before the Lord, and that was an example of how God speaks through circumstances. So the first thing you rem remember is this. Be in tune with God's Word. He does speak through His Word, and God never tells you to do something that's sin. Number two, be in tune with your prayer life. Spend time with the Lord and listen to Him. Don't just tell Him what you need all the time. Praise His name and listen to Him. I've been spoken to by God clearly on many occasions through impressions. And then thirdly, pay attention to the circumstances around you. When you pay attention to the circumstances around you, then God can, then those circumstances begin to make sense to you if you spend time in His Word and you spend time praying. That's how God speaks. Through His Word, through prayer, and through circumstances. So that's the answer to that question.